What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So we're going to check out three new WWE Championship belts. Brock Lesnar's return, WWE shows canceled, and other wrestling news by none other than WrestleMania himself, man. I've been hearing that uh, Triple H has been trying to get some new championship belts designed. I've been hearing that for past few weeks now. So interested to see what information is going on with that situation. And I'm um, looking forward to this video. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel we're almost at 100k let's do the damn thing what is going on guys it is wrestlemania here back with some more news join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including brock lesnar's return date new title designs coming as a celebrity joining the judgment day poor ticket sales cancels a wwe event a hurricane affecting the wrestling world and much more be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on and i'm sending my prayers and uh well wishes to everyone that's in florida right now that's dealing with the hurricane hurricane i think this ian um wishing you guys uh you know just just safety you know what i'm saying i'm praying for you guys and uh hopefully you guys you can pull through man so yeah on facebook for exclusive lists also check out wrestlemania.co.uk and an on wrestling channel incredible and now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story Now first we looks at Brock Lesnar's return date All When right. is Brock Lesnar returning to WWE? Well apparently sooner than expected as Ringside News is reporting that the Beast Incarnate is scheduled to appear at November's Crown Jewel Premium Live event in Saudi Arabia mm. Lesnar who last competed against Roman Reigns at SummerSlam in the epic Last Man Standing match Great was match. believed to be off the Fun WWE match. schedule until 1st January's Day 1 show but according to a report, a ringside news was told by a tenured member of the creative team that Goldberg is not working the Crown Jewel show in Saudi Arabia. That mm. being said, Brock Lesnar is working the event. So now, the Saudi Sports do? Authority always wants the creme de la creme of the WWE to appear, preferably legends, celebrities and crossover athletes such as Tyson Fury. This year's show will feature one such match as Logan Paul challenges Roman Reigns in a match which is certain to get a certain amount of mainstream publicity, something which both the WWE and the Saudi Sports Authority look for. As we and critics have noted, one of the purposes of the Saudi Arabia Premium Event is to deflect attention from the Saudi government's questionable and that term is charitable human rights records. Mm. Now, nothing has been formally announced, but some fans believe that a rematch between Lashley and Lesnar is inevitable. Such a match is ideal for Lashley and Lesnar, but Lesnar even more. After all, Lesnar has wrestled Roman Reigns to the point where it's difficult to envision a rematch having Please any no. marketability Please short no. of Lesnar putting his career on the line. Speaking of Lesnar, Ringside News posted a no. picture of Lesnar and apparently the big man has shaved off his beard. Yeah, shaved his beard if Lashley that. versus Lesnar doesn't happen at Crown Jewel, the <laughs> WWE has other options, including a hoss fight between Omos or Braun Strowman. However, recent comments on Raw suggest the WWE is planning on working an Omos vs. Strowman program at some yeah. point. Who do you guys think Brock Lesnar should wrestle? Let us know in the comments down below. Here's the thing. Would I want him to wrestle Bobby Lashley? Yes and no. The first time around, they really fucking made Bobby Lashley look weak, which I did not like. That's my only real gripe about that. They really downplay Bobby Lashley to tell a, another story of Roman versus versus uh Brock. That's really what it was. If they're going to do it, it would make sense to build up for it and maybe for the US title. I don't know. I'm just not sold on it only because I like what they're doing with Bobby and Bobby definitely needs to continue to keep winning to I guess maintain the integrity of the United States Championship. Because I just don't see Brock, whoever he faces, I just don't see him losing. I don't. Unless Brock is in a, a mood to put somebody else over. So, I don't know. We'll see. But let me know down below who do y'all think Brock should face when he come back. Other than Roman, God no. Next up, championship changes coming to WWE. Now, here's okay. an update on our previous story about the WWE redesigning its championship belts. You may recall that WWE management wanted to redesign belts and now Fightful Select is reporting that at least three new sets of belts have been completed. Okay. There's no word on which titles have been revamped or when they'll be unveiled, but apparently this new look was planned before Triple H took over WWE's oh, okay. creative department. One aspect of the championship picture that hasn't been addressed is whether Triple H intends to add any new titles to the company. If you've ever listened to Triple H's interviews, you know that the game is a proponent of the importance of championships. Now that invites the question whether the Cerebral Assassin might add a new singles title either to the men's or women's division. 
Now, adding a title may seem counterintuitive for someone who appreciates the values of titles, but with the world title locked down, a new singles title could add something to the WWE's undercard, especially if it's defended on Raw or SmackDown. Another Possibly. question is whether Triple H feels it's time to get rid of the undisputed titles in the singles and tag divisions. Mm. What do you guys think? Should the WWE add any titles? Also, should it keep its undisputed titles or split them up? Let us know in the comments down below. What they should do and what I've been hearing is there's new tag titles. They're going to get rid of the uh, the belts, the quarter belts as I call them. There's going to be one set of tag titles, which I am all for. Do that shit. Get rid of those goddamn ugly quarter belts for the tag team division. Have the Usos have one tag team set of, uh, set of tag team titles that I'm all for. Do could they use another main title? They could, but they don't need it. What they need to do is get the title off of Roman, at least the WWE Championship. Get the WWE Championship off of Roman. That's your only option. So that way, Raw has a head champion. SmackDown has a head champion. There we go. Because if not, you might as well just end the brand split, but you're not. So Raw needs a head champion. SmackDown needs a head champion. That's, that's really it. If you're going to make a new undisputed championship belt, that means the champ has to float the boat between both shows. It's not happening. So you need to split the damn belts up. That's all they got to do. They booked themselves into this corner. They got to find a way to get out. Split the damn belts. So many of y'all have come up with some great ideas of like maybe having a ladder match and one person ends up pulling down the WWE championship and Roman ends up pulling down the Universal Championship. I'm okay with that. As long as we're able to get the fucking titles off them, off at least one of them, I'm okay with that. Next up, a celebrity joining the Judgment Day. Now, the Judgment Day is always looking for new members, but does this include celebrities? As according to Judgment Day member Damian Priest, it definitely could. During a chat with WrestleRant, the Archer of Infamy noted Bad Bunny could be a part of Judgment Day. So, you know, he has a bad side to him. It's in the name. So, but come on, <laughs> mate, you know, as far as he's concerned, it's good business. You know, the guy is a megastar and he's a pro and he's earned the respect and right to perform with us, you know? He earned that. In any which role I could work with him, I welcome him. Uh, mm. WWE loves bringing in celebs and based on Bad Bunny's past in-ring work, he's committed to delivering a first-rate performance. Yeah. While it's unlikely the rapper and wrestler could compete on even a part-time basis, nah. he could still add something special to the already impressive group. Next up, dump I can see him pulling, like, if you guys remember, um... <laughs> When Dennis Rodman was like an honorary member of the NWO, like he was part of the NWO, I could see him doing that. I, I wouldn't even have a problem with that. Bad Bunny, he sh he's one of the few people that showed out at WrestleMania as a celebrity and and did his thing. He he was great, fucking fantastic, bro. So I wouldn't have a problem with seeing that. WWE cancels another live event. A bad news for members of the WWE Universe who are planning to attend the Sunday Stunner Live event in Elmira, New York, as the show has been cancelled. Mm. According to WrestleTix, WWE has removed the October 9th house show Sunday Stunner in Elmira, New York from its calendar. Poor ticket sales caused the cancellation. That is story is something the WWE needs to look at, especially in light of the road dog taking over for Jeff Jarrett in overseeing the WWE's live events. Mm. Now, we aren't suggesting the lackluster live events are the road dog's fault, as it wasn't long ago that he stepped into the role. But on one hand, the WWE had sales success with certain live events. Indeed, the WWE has enjoyed some incredible ticket sales for premium live events recently, including Clash at the Castle, Extreme Rules, and the pre-sale for WrestleMania 39. On Damn. the other hand, the WWE's Money in the Bank event was moved from a stadium to a smaller venue after poor ticket sales, which some saw as a blow to the WWE's goals of running more, if not all, premium live events in a stadium. Clash at the Castle sold well, but this was due to the product being hot or because UK fans hadn't seen a pay-per-view level <laughs> show in 30 years. Likewise, WrestleMania 39 may have sold out largely on the rumors that it will feature a main event between mm -hmm. The Rock and Roman Reigns. It's also unknown how many of WrestleMania's tickets were purchased by secondary market sellers i.e. scalpers. Yeah. If these Sunday stunner cancellations are any indication, the WWE is struggling with traditional live events, i.e. house shows. Despite the company performing well after the pandemic shut down all live events, it seems as if it's seeing a slowdown in live events. This is the same problem the WWE experienced prior to the pandemic when live event sales were awful, not only for house shows, but for Raw, SmackDown, and even pay-per-views. 
What could be causing this? Overpriced tickets, a lack of interest in traditional house shows, a bad economy, Sunday football, something else or a combination mm -hmm. of factors? Let us know in the comments down below. It, it can definitely, obviously, Sunday night football, bro, that's the thing. <laughs> so that that's going to cut into it as well. Um, I, I don't think a lot of people really care as much about house shows like they used to. Um, now that we know, a lot of times certain stuff happen on house shows, you know, but a lot, it's not major title changes. It's just rare that it does. Um, people just are not as invested in house shows as much. That's what I can tell, you know, but it seems like the, the main pay-per-views and the shows weekly, for the most part, have been getting some good crowd uh, retention or whatnot. So it, it's a multitude of things, but definitely if football does play a part, if it's on Sunday, you can hang that shit up. <laughs> I can, you can hang that up. Next up, the WWE cancels NXT live events. They're not just canceling live events on the main roster, it's also canceling live events for NXT. However, this case is different as a live event have been put on hold due to Hurricane yeah. Ian, which is growing stronger and headed for the state of Florida. Sheesh. Naturally, the hurricane's impact on wrestling is nowhere near as important as the storm's impact on millions of people. Yeah. But since this is WrestleMania, not CNN, we felt wrestling fans would want to know. Wrestling News chronicled a change in plan, saying the WWE NXT live events that were supposed to take place this weekend have been postponed because Hurricane Ian ordered a widespread evacuation of Florida. Yeah. The performance that was originally scheduled for Friday at the University Area Community Complex in Tampa, Florida got moved to Saturday, December 17th. The yeah. event scheduled for Saturday at the Dade City Armory in Dade City, Florida got rescheduled for Friday, November 11th. Now, a report from NBC News detailed a storm severity. Maximum sustained winds were near 155 miles Jesus. per hour with higher gusts around 8 a.m. Eastern oh Time. My God. This is just two miles away from being upgraded to a Category 5. A Category 5 storm is a worse level of a hurricane which makes it imperative to exercise extreme caution. But how is it affecting Jeez, the other wrestling world? Bro. Well, as you might expect, Hurricane Ian is impacting millions of people, including wrestlers and wrestling promotions. In addition to the aforementioned NXT cancellations, AEW president Tony Khan informed his wrestlers that via Twitter, for everyone in AEW, in case you missed our email, anyone worried about Hurricane Ian affecting your travel or home or your family life, it's voluntary to come to TV this week. Anyone affected by the hurricane can take care of business at home, and we hope to see you all next week. Superstar Natalia tweeted, we are currently in a different path of Hurricane Ian, but we're in a safe enough spot not near the water, and I've been preparing for the storm as much as we possibly can. We haven't been asked to evacuate, but we're taking the storm very seriously, hoping yeah, everyone man. stays safe. Jeez. And we're sending our thoughts and prayers to everyone sure. impacted by Hurricane Ian. And finally, a CM Punk sighting. Last but not least, in battle wrestler CM Punk was recently seen wearing an arm brace as someone who shared a picture of him online. The former AEW World Champ has been keeping a low profile oh, since man. his controversial comments at All Out's media scrum and the alleged backstage Donnybrook he was involved in. Like everyone allegedly involved in the controversy, Punk has kept quiet about things, but it's good to see he hasn't become a hermit. But there you have it, folks. The wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. For sure. That whole CM Punk, that, that was just a debacle. That was just, just straight awful. Jeez, man. But yeah, I, I definitely want to put out there safe... Uh, you know, everyone that's still in Florida, if you didn't evacuate, um, praying for your safety once again. It's a serious situation. When Mother Nature strikes, all you can do is just try to be prepared as much as you possibly can, man. So praying for everyone that's in Florida right now that didn't get a chance to leave. Praying for your safety and hopefully you're able to get through this storm. But comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on who you think Brock Lesnar should face. Um, do you guys think um, the, the the titles should be split apart on Roman Reigns in the sense of at least getting the WWE Championship back on Monday Night Raw? Or do you think they should come up with a whole new belt and we have just one title, one head champion? Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on that. Uh, those were kind of the major big stories. Uh, from this video, but I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel. Road to 100k. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.